Hello, this is Angela with Parkos Permaculture. Today I'm going to show you how to make the thumb gusset for my dragon scale mitts. More information on how to purchase this pattern is down in the description. This is a simple thumb gusset that can be adapted to any top down knitting pattern for fingerless mitts. Make sure you are working one mitt with a right thumb and one with a left thumb. For this pattern, we start our thumb five rows of scales in. It's important to note that as you work the thumb gusset on the palm side of the pattern, you continue to follow the scale pattern for the back of the hand. I've just completed adding my fifth row of scales and now I flip the pattern over to work the palm side. This is where I begin the thumb gusset. First, I'm going to work a right thumb. I knit to the last four stitches because I am using a larger version of this pattern. Then I bind off two stitches and then knit to the end. To bind off two, I'm going to knit two stitches. I'm going to take the first of those that I knitted and slip it over the second one and off my needle. Then I'm going to knit one more slide the first of those two over and off my needle and then knit to the end of the row. This way I make a hole for my thumb to go through. On to the second mitt, which is a mirror image of the first as we work a left thumb gusset. I'm going to knit two because again, I'm working the larger pattern, bind off two in the same manner and then knit to the end of the row. Now we're back to the front of the work, which is the back of the hand where the scales go. Continue to work in the scale pattern throughout. Now that we're back to the palm side, I am going to work the second round of the gusset pattern. I knit to the last two stitches, make six, and knit to the end. When I say make six, I mean put on six stitches using the backward loop method. Okay, I've got one more stitch here and then I'm ready to make six stitches. The backward loop method is really simple. I just make a loop, flip it around, slide it over the needle and pull it tight. Now, not too tight. You want these to be able to slide up and down the needle with the same kind of tension as your regular stitches. Do six of them, and then you're gonna knit to the end of the row. For the left thumb, I'm going to knit two, make six, and knit to the end. going to continue in the scale pattern on the front and on the back side for four rows, I'm just going to knit straight across. This elongates the gusset and makes room for my thumb to fit. In my long tail cast on video, I talked about how stable the long tail cast on is. Well, the make one with a backwards loop method is not so stable. So the first row that you knit these stitches, it will be a little loose and fiddly. You want to pull snugly as you knit across for those first of four rows. Hey, 
hey, it's starting to look like a thumb hole. Now we're gonna elongate this part over four rows and then begin to decrease. I have completed my four rounds of straight stitches and now I am beginning the gusset decrease. For the right thumb, I am knitting to the last eight stitches that I'm going to slip, slip, knit, knit three, knit two together, and knit to the end. For the other thumb, I am going to knit one, slip, slip, knit those two stitches together, knit three, knit two together, and then knit to the end. Now we continue in the pattern for two more rows, knitting straight for two rows on the palm side and knitting in the scale pattern on the back side. The thumbs are really taking shape now. We're down to our last decrease round on the palm. For the right thumb, knit to the last five stitches. Slip, slip, knit, knit two together, knit one. For the left thumb, knit one. Slip, slip, knit. knit two together, and then knit to the end. And now we have our thumb gussets completed. Just knit to the end of the row and then continue in the knitting pattern until you have completed adding 12 rows of scales. Then it will be time to do the ribbing for the cuff. Here you can see the completed thumb gusset, simple, elegant, not fussy and comfortable. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you all. And thank you to those of you who have purchased my Dragon Mitts pattern. If you need additional help, check out the other videos in this playlist. Thanks.